Today I just wanted to share from Isaiah 43, verse 21. And I know these other ones are highlighted around it, but I've been highlighting them as, uh, as I share them so that I know that I shared them. <laughs> and uh, Isaiah 43, 21, he says, This people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. And the word the Lord had just shared with me today, or maybe it was yesterday, I was just thinking about, you know, we get so caught up in, in life and, and like, and our faith. And we're just, it's easy to get distracted from the simplest thing. And, and I think I've figured out what the simplest, most encouraging thing we can think about is. It's this right here. This people have I formed for myself. Like God created us for himself, right? You know what I mean? So like if God created us for himself, then why are we so worried about finding him? You know what I mean? How could we even have to worry about finding him who made us for the very purpose of him for himself? You know what I mean? He created us for himself. So obviously finding him is not the issue, right? You know what I mean? It, it will not be an issue because the very purpose of our existence is for us to know God and, and to be his right? So, it, you know, it's, it's interesting how we get caught up like, oh, where's God? How come God's left me? Or why has God deserted this place and given us over to evil? And um, why is he allowing me to suffer? Or why is he doing this? Or why? Well, all these why questions we have for God and and the simplest thing we can come back to, though, is that he created us for himself. He hasn't gone anywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? He can't go. Listen, if God wasn't here, we wouldn't be here. You know, because we all live because of him. It says if he withdrew his spirit, we would all disappear. You know, we live and move and have our being in him. Like, we all exist because of God. Everything exists because of Him. There's nothing that exists that doesn't, that it can exist outside of God. <laughs> so, so He's here. He's watching. He's just waiting for us to realize that we exist because of Him. Because He desired our existence. Because He purposed it. Because he created us. You know, that's why it says man is without excuse because of creation. Like, the very fact that that we exist is proof enough of God. You know, because it can't be an accident. It's not possible. I don't care what people say. It's not possible because according, if you really think about it, there should not be anything at all. Nothing should exist. There shouldn't be a molecule. There shouldn't be darkness. There shouldn't be anything. How does anything... The fact that anything exists at all is a miracle. So, I don't know. I just felt like the need to share this today. We we just... We can't get caught up. And, uh, and just the things that we get caught up in. We need to focus on this. We just need to focus on the fact that God created us for himself. We will show forth his praise. We will, we must praise him. We must start acknowledging that he gave us life. And he didn't just give us a temporary life. He gave us this life and allowed us to suffer death. So that we could enter into our eternal dwelling but he had always purposed that we would live 
forever. He knew he was going to have to send Jesus to die. But the most important thing is how he was resurrected from the dead. And we, are, we need to start praising him and giving him thanks for giving us life. And not just life in this earth, but eternal life with him forever. Starting right now. Starting from the moment you were conceived in the womb. Till, the, till there is no end. There is no end if you have faith in Jesus Christ. Death is a, just a transition. Amen.